I was flipping anything that I went to work today. All I wanted to do is go to work. <laughs> I'm really out of practice, y'all. Today is day five of coro <laughs> coronavirus quarantine. Mm. I have not left my house to do anything other than like take the dog outside for upwards of five days. What better time to get a little tipsy film a makeup tutorial? I'm pulling out all the samples that I've gotten from Birchbox and Ipsy and any of the fucking beauty con shit. I literally have samples in here that are upwards of four to five years old, but no one ever wants to use samples when they're doing their everyday makeup because what if something goes horribly wrong, you're fucking stuck. So I've got all my little, these are NARS concealer things that I got literally at beauty con uh, 2015. It's literally seven o'clock at night. I have nowhere to be. I'm just so bored I'm on the screen. So I'm gonna try and do that thing that they do on like actual makeup artist pages. In case any of y'all were confused, I was never an actual makeup artist. Where they basically just use concealer and like cream contour and not actual foundation. I don't know if any of this is the right skin tone. It's also literally dark outside. So who is gonna be the wiser? Oh my God, TVT, you guys. Oh, this isn't even, I don't think this is even good. It's like, Oh, it feels like butter. Okay, well, also I have my old camera still. I have the camera that I spent literally thousands of dollars on, but I can't find my tripod and I can't find my battery pack. So maybe someday we'll get back into some real life shit here, but today is not that day. Oh, hey, look at that. That's not bad for a concealer. Are you supposed to put, are you supposed to put the concealer and the contour. I'm just using my finger. I, I really don't fucking know. I'm really out of practice. When I say that, I mean it. Well, we're looking a little less dead, but we're looking a little more tasty. Hey, Joey, can you grab me another beer? So we got, oops, we got this shade and we got this shade for contouring. And I feel like this is gonna be way too dark. So we're literally gonna put contour on with our fingers. Thank you. It's your YouTube debut. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> Do you wanna come hang out with me while I film this? Yeah. <laughs> it's not real life. Maybe we'll put some concealer on these little zits here. If the world is in my favor. The camera quality will be so bad anyway that no one will be the wiser. It's not even that bad. Are you gonna make a video? I don't even know what I'm doing. Dude, I'm so out of practice. The last time I filmed a video, I had one tattoo and now I have seven. I didn't have a nose piercing. I didn't have a dog. Nothing in my life has been broadcasted in like three years. I have this blush that I bought and it's this really intense like kind of orangey blush from Becca. It's Songbird. And every time that I've used it, it I just look like a literal clown. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Grabbed some more samples and was all ready for this next little portion of the vlog. Oh my god, my face looks like a fucking mess. I have like lip samples, I have eyeshadow samples, I even have a mascara sample from literally six years ago and I have to wonder if any of it's gonna even fucking work. But I forgot that in all of this, I agreed to a anonymous free tarot card reading from somebody on the next door app in my neighborhood. So she's gonna call me on Zoom in 10 minutes and give me a tarot card reading and she's gonna see me looking like this with fucking unfinished makeup. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Yolks made me gag. Uh, back to crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be gross and smoke my jewel. Like oh my god! Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> <I feel> like... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So 
so this is very weird. So the way it makes you feel so strange, but it's a woman who's gently closing the mouth of the lion. So it's the idea of feeling like relaxed but strong. So this is why you are attracted to just your passion. And it is a very feminine card. This is a card of like a beautiful home, a beautiful garden. Yeah, homemaking, cooking, like really domestic stuff. And that's what I'm telling you, but the, the way it's manifesting is as this quite masculine energy thing. There's a competition element to it. There is a little bit of like sparring with others or beating others. Maybe a more aggressive path or an aggressive position is not going to fuck with you. Like you have sharp enough energy that you'll be able to go down those more turbulent career paths and be okay, which is rare. I made my career off of being a YouTuber for like four years. No way. Yeah, and uh, the content that I was making um, was all very feminine. It was all like beauty and lifestyle type of videos, right? Okay. And um, my my career was really blowing up. I had a video that, you know, hit over 2 million views. It was featured on BuzzFeed. Wow. It was like, Holy shit. I mean, it was really crazy. And I had fans in all corners of the world. I had fan mail. I mean, it was, it was really something. But when I was doing it, it was an incredibly competitive field. And I, I really thrived on that. Um, wow. knowing, knowing that I was up against a whole lot of talent and a whole lot of money and a whole lot of people. Um, but I was still making it in my, you know, bedroom in the suburbs. Like it. That's so cool. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> literally before you called, I was like filming a, the first video I've filmed since 2017. And before that, since I guess 2016. On to the next thing. I'm gonna give another beer first, actually. <laughs> Also, I don't know if I said this before, but um, as y'all know, my hair is super naturally curly and I straightened it for the first time in a really long time. Also got a haircut. I really, I don't even know why I'm updating you on stuff. I haven't seen you in like three years. So I don't know why I'm acting as if I like I saw you last week and I don't know, I'm just fucking here, bro. Ma. Hi, baby. Hi, good girl. Um, face is looking, it's looking decent for using my fingers to apply samples that are like six years old. I, this is the same Louise Young brush that I used to use in all my videos. Um, it's literally falling apart. There's like a crack in the, um, yeah, I used to know these words, in the bristle holder thing. And like now the, pa the hair is just coming out in like clumps. Like you literally just, it, yeah, it's not great. I hit pan recently on the Becca Moonstone highlighter. I like, honestly, I'm in college. I don't, oh, how else do I switch to colleges? I, I like don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. And if I, if I am wearing makeup, it's like everything that I can fit in my makeup bag that I bring to work. I still have my gigantic um, makeup collection that I used to have, but I'm using like very little of it at a time. And like, I'm kind of like going through and like hitting pan on stuff before I like actually use up stuff. Anyways, um, that's the reason I hit pan, even though I have like 17 other, other highlighters. OG fucking primer potion um and then the oh i put the concealer on my eyes and that crease start as fuck wow can you put primer on crease concealer no but we're going to anyway oh my god maybe maybe it's kbr talking but i really fucking miss this um so this is the sample it's from the do you guys remember when the, the bomb came out with all the like the it's like all these naked men and then there's their like towel is the eyeshadow. It's really strange. Anyways, I got this as a sample at VidCon or BeautyCon or somewhere like that. We're gonna use it. It's like this kind of like reddish, brownish copper. I promise next time I'm gonna use my, um, like my, it's literally sitting right here, my like actual camera, but I have my tripods at my parents' house. Also live in an apartment now. Hello, um, last time I talked to you, I was living in Bellingham in a dorm room, which was great. Um, but I was there to go to Western Washington University and I transferred to Portland State University. That's that. I'm gonna just use my fingers for this whole thing because there's no reason to dirty a brush for something that's not gonna turn out well anyway. And we're gonna just do the old the old ring finger tap that I taught y'all. And this is really not a pigmented shadow at all. And I have to wonder if this is where we're running into the first problems of like expired makeup. This is a dark color and I'm really fucking 
I am really going for it here. Like that's what my finger looks like. And it's not really, not a whole lot of payoff here. So that's what I get for using all these expired samples. Yeah, my finger looks like that, my eyes look like that, and we're just gonna say that it's fine. So because I'm trying to like film this video, like mostly the samples, I don't even know why. Why did I even think that was a smart plan? I'm gonna just go straight on to mascara and not use like any um, line or anything. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. It's this big ass brush and I've used it before and I always get it on my fucking eyes because it's bigger than my eyeball. So we're gonna do our best, but I don't think it's gonna be very good. It's not that bad, it's not that bad, it's okay. Like I said, we're not going anywhere. Literally no one's going to see this makeup except for <laughs> the 19,000 of you are still here. It's not awful, it's not awful. Oh my God, this camera quality is like protecting me right now from everybody's saying like, what the fuck, you mean that's not awful. That's awful. Also look how hard that concealer creased. Huh? Yikes. I don't know where this sample came from. It is literally an unmarked package, but it's a little tiny brush. Little, I'm gonna use it as a lip brush, which I think is what it's meant to be anyway, it's like this little guy. It's like almost black. Gloss, oh, it's in French, uh-oh. Gloss Interdit Revelateur. I don't know where this is from, but it's like this sparkly purple guy. And I just kind of figure why not. Um, I'm not gonna use it at any other point, most likely. Oh, it's like, it's like jelly, bro. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a purple lip. I literally feel like I'm putting grape jelly. Oh no. This literally feels like I just ate some grape jelly. It smells really good, um, but I don't think this is the move. Well, so that's our, <laughs> that's our fucking coronavirus quarantine isolation makeup look for no one to see other than YouTube. We are having some beers. We are hanging out with our old friends <laughs> and it's good. I don't want to sit here and say, I'm coming back to YouTube I'm, and I'm going to do weekly uploads again. I'm going to like make this my whole life again. Um, and I don't want to say that because I said that in 2017 and it's now 2020 um, and I have not uploaded a single video since 2017. And I kind of just don't want to think too hard about it. I kind of want to just do what feels right right now and maybe at some point we'll get in the groove. Maybe we won't. Um, but I miss this space. I miss it a lot. So with that said, um, I hope that everybody is safe and in good health. Until next time, I guess. I'll see you guys later. Bye.